Welcome to the North Daytona Beach Area Coalition Community Event. This community event is part of a study that is being conducted to evaluate proposed transportation solutions for a section of Atlantic Avenue from Seabreeze Boulevard to Millsap Road. The study is considering capacity, safety, and multimodal enhancements along the subject corridor while minimizing potential impacts to the natural and human environments. This presentation will provide information on recommended corridor alternatives to receive community input. The purpose of the study is to develop a coalition of public and private stakeholders, develop a shared vision for the key corridor, seek community input on travel options, develop concepts and implementation strategies. Here are the project partners, City of Daytona Beach, City of Holly Hill, Lodging and Hospitality Association of Volusia County, River to Sea Transportation Planning Organization, Volusia County, and VOTRAN. We also have stakeholders like Boardwalk at Daytona Development, Beachside Neighborhood Watch, Plaza Resort, Daytona Regional Chamber, and Sons of the Beach. Members of the public are also critically important to the study. We'd like to hear from everyone in this community, whether you're here to live, work, learn, or play. Rigorous analysis of various data sets were conducted to fully understand the corridor issues. There was a total of 183 crashes in the study area between 2015 and 2019, of which 89% were auto crashes and the remaining 11% were bicycle pedestrian crashes. There were six fatalities in five years on the study corridor, which highlights the immediate need for significant safety improvements. There is a lack of safe pedestrian crossings along the corridor and no continuous bike facility. Also, the corridor has limited landscaping and site furnishings. In addition to addressing the safety and mobility issues in the corridors, we captured the community vision in our concepts and included landscaping and beautification features to make the corridor aesthetically pleasing. The corridor was divided into three sections in an effort to maximize the number of alternatives while being able to evaluate them. Section 1 is from Seabreeze Boulevard, State Road 430, to University Boulevard. Section 2 is from University Boulevard to Boylston Avenue. And Section 3 is from south of Boylston Avenue to Millsap Road, where the study ends. Each section has unique opportunities and constraints related to land use, width of the right-of-way, existence of medians, shoulders, or other roadway characteristics. We will present the alternative concepts for each section next. Let us start with Section 1. Section 1 is from Seabreeze Boulevard, State Road 430, to University Boulevard along State Road A1A. State Road A1A within this section is a five-lane, undivided roadway, with sidewalks along both sides. This section is lined with retail businesses and hotels. No median or dedicated bicyclist facilities are present on this section. Suggested improvements include sidewalk widening, adding a furnishing strip, enhanced landscape, in addition to raised, textured crossings. This rendering is for State Road A1A at Section 1. Note the sidewalk widening and the landscaped median. Improvements for Section 1 also include a shared use path on Grandview Avenue, the parallel corridor west of State Road A1A. Now let us move to Section 2. Section 2 is from University Boulevard to Boylston Avenue along State Road A1A. State Road A1A within this section has the same cross-section as Section 1. No median or dedicated bicyclist facilities are present on this section. Suggested improvements include curves on the road, known as chicanes, pinch points on the road, known as chokers, and landscaped medians. These speed calming strategies enhance the sense of enclosure by adding street trees and enforcing terminated vistas. Raised textured crossings help with vertical deflection and enhance pedestrian accessibility. This rendering is for the first alternative in Section 2 of State Road A1A. Note the chicanes and the sidewalk widening at strategic locations. This is another rendering for the first alternative in Section 2 of State Road A1A in a different location. Note the chokers, shade trees on the sidewalk widenings, and landscaped medians. Another alternative is suggested for State Road A1A in Section 2. Improvements include a shared use path or a cycle track along the section together with shade trees. This rendering is for the second alternative in Section 2 of State Road A1A. Note the continuous ped bike facility on the right-hand side of the image. This is Section 3 of the corridor. 
Section 3 is from south of Boylston Avenue to Millsap Road along State Road A1A. The right-of-way is wide on this section, and there are paved shoulders and sidewalks on both sides. There's a wide median with existing landscape. Alternative 1 suggests a linear park in the median that includes a continuous shared use path. Chicane and choker strategies are utilized together with reverse angle parking and raised crossings. This rendering is for the first alternative in Section 3 of State Road A1A. Note the continuous ped bike facility in the median and the reverse angle parking. Alternative 2 suggests a continuous one-way bike lane on each side. The bike lanes are protected with a planting strip. This rendering is for the second alternative in Section 3 of State Road A1A. Note the continuous protected bike lanes, enhanced landscape, and chicanes. Alternative 3 suggests a continuous cycle track in the median, in addition to chicanes and landscaped bulbouts. This rendering is for the third alternative in Section 3 of State Road A1A. Note the continuous cycle track in the median and the landscape enhancements. We are utilizing a number of innovative treatments along these corridors, such as smart lighting, high-emphasis pedestrian crosswalk lighting, and in-pavement lighting. Other treatments such as walkable tree grates, hurricane-resistant trash cans, modular planters, and imprinted asphalt are recommended. This is a screenshot of the project website where the project documents are posted. It includes the project brochure, alternative concepts, and 3D renderings. With that, enjoy the open house. We look forward to talking with you at the various stations around the room. If you have any questions or would like to discuss anything after today's community event, please feel free to contact the project manager, Stephen Buck, with the Florida Department of Transportation. His contact information is provided on the slide. Thanks, everyone. Have a good evening.